Hi guys, welcome to another video. Just recently, one of our subscribers asked why we hadn't done any videos on our dive bags, gun bags. And I went back through our videos and realized we'd only done one on our fish cooler bag. So today I'm gonna to show you a bit more about our bags that we make in-house. Mostly about the fabric, the type of fabric we use, although it looks very plasticky, it is a type of plastic, PVC, but it's a laminate, over a polyester weave. I'm gonna show you just how strong that is and why we use this fabric. First, I'm gonna cut a strip. If you look closely, you will see the weave internally. It's all very well having a woven material, but once the stitch goes, it can tear. This bonding the fabric with PVC makes it much stronger. I mean, that's almost impossible to break. It's extremely tough in both directions. Let's try and experiment with a screwdriver. Never actually done this before. Let's see what it does. You can see it does tear, but it takes a lot of force to get that to tear. When it's produced, we have a rough side and a smooth side. The smooth side is better for printing. It comes in a variety of colors, all the basics. We tend to mainly use the blue and black for our bags. We also combine it with mesh. This is one of our carry bags. Just a straight bag. We've got foam in here just to show its size. It has side straps. You can put your fins in, guns, still carry it normally or carry it as a backpack. All of our bags are made with heavy duty zips. These are YKK Ultra Strong with heavy duty stainless steel sliders with pulling tabs. These do not rust or jam. Very easy to keep clean. I've seen bags now 15 years old, the zip is still functional. So this bag is made with mesh on the ends. That helps it vent. If you leave your wetsuit in here wet, at least it has a way of venting off and not getting moldy. We've also changed our graphics. This is now the new graphic, shoal of Big Eye Kingfish and every bag is now named what type it is. In this case, compact dive bag. We then have a basic gun bag. It's two meter long for those that use longer guns. We do make a smaller version. Also heavy duty zip, same graphics. And when it's packed for the retailers, it will be packed so that the name is visible through the clear package. So that's the Spartan bag. We then have a padded one, quite a lot more protection. Same size, same principle, big zip. Then for those of you who like to use these bags as a combo travel bag with your fins and your wetsuit, we do a tanker gun bag. So this tanker gun bag can fit pretty much all your gear. Your guns are long, wrap them in your wetsuit. It's wide enough for fins, you put them back to back. They'll be protected with the guns on either side of them from flexing. Um, you could pack some of your clothing in this to give it more support. Smaller things like your masks, gloves, that can go in your normal luggage when traveling. Then for just a basic bag, 
heavy duty zips. This is a black version. Very big bag, you're long enough for your big fins. Also has a side pouch. Many guys don't even realize this is there. This is for small things, wallet, paperwork, those countries where you need licenses, good place to keep it. None of these bags are fully waterproof. The fabric is waterproof, but the way it's stitched will allow moisture in. So don't put this down in a wet hatch and not expect the contents to get wet, although diving gear designed to get wet. So this might not look like it, but it's exactly the same size as the previous bag. So this tanker bag has three separate compartments. The small one in the middle is for small things, mask, snorkel, gloves, whatever you need to put in your sunblock. It keeps it in the middle as well. Your fins will be on the outside. Wetsuit can be this side. That'll protect your mask. This is a side pouch where you can put your fins back to back. Big enough for your fins, but keeps them upright and locks them in. Then the main compartment is all the rest of the zone where you can put your wetsuits, towels, booties. I wouldn't suggest putting weight belts in these bags. It makes it lopsided, difficult to carry, much easier to wear your weight belt. We also do a smaller version this is, we call it our scuba bag because it's short enough to take scuba fins. Nice little travel bag. Same side pouch, paperwork, traveling, passports. Some of the bags have this leatherette look on it. It's exactly the same PVC. It's just a different look. Just cosmetic. We don't use it on the zones that we print. You can't print on a texture surface as well. For those of you that fish off rubber ducks, this is a fish bag that we developed many years ago to be laced into that top rope along the top edge of your tube. That can hang outside the boat with a zip and clips. Put your fish inside that, keeps the fish uh, out the boat and gives you room. When you want to travel, two people reach into the water, grab both sides, fold it into the boat, and that will then lie internally. So it flips in or out, and it has a zip on both sides. So you can access it either or. The advantage of this bag is you can slide your fish into the envelope, and it stays flat against the bag, and it's much less likely to flip around inside the boat and the dorsal spines are very sharp and will puncture normal tubes. Some people like to have a thicker zone in this area. You can put any fabric underneath this. So whilst you're loading it, the, any padding behind it will prevent damage. If you open the zip up completely, you don't want this to flop open and let your fish out. But if you do need access, there is a release buckle. I find it's always easier to keep that one tensioned up and only open one side or the other. These zips can slide all the way up and open in two directions. Again, this little toggle on here makes access much easier. If the bag's been lying a long time, there's lots of salt, dried salt in it, it will be a lot stiffer. But with the stainless steel slider, you can drag this quite easily and get it moving again. I'd throw a bit of soapy water on it, work it a bit, and uh, I've never seen these wear out. So there you have it. These are all the bags we make in-house and printed in-house. Hope you enjoyed that video. Stand by for the next.